Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the awesome looking Oracle Axe in Fortnite. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this. We're going to start out with the middle and this is actually a very tricky thing to draw. So we're just going to draw in this big ball first. I'll draw one big circle. Okay, so I know mine is a little wobbly. So once you have this in the middle here, just kind of come down slightly and we just got to draw one angle. Okay, in the middle here, come down. And now just finish this off. Just kind of come down, pinch it in slightly, close it off. Okay, so now let's draw the blade around it. So here, from the corner, just go up. I'm going to try to keep it symmetrical, so I'm just going to work on both sides. And once you have this, we're going to go up again, slightly going out. And then once you're here, just kind of curve this in. Okay, and then we're going to go straight up. Okay, so here's the tricky part, and to draw the other, other blade. So right on this line here, just kind of come out and just draw another line, just kind of slightly going out, going wider on the top here. So come across here, just go up, wider on the top here. Okay, so now we're going to draw in the blade. So we're going to curve this out, and take this, just curve it. And then whatever you have here, we just kind of draw one nice curve. From this corner here to the tip to the bottom. Okay, we got curve. Okay, so whatever you have on these corners, just kind of connect them with a nice, nice curve. All right, so from here, let, now let's finish off, finish it off. Um, now this part's a little bit tricky too. We're gonna come out, and then we're gonna pinch in. And then here, I'm going to come down on this corner. And then whatever you have here, just connect this. So this should be like a nice little angle in here. Okay, and then let's see. Let's, well, let's finish off this area first then. So we're just going to come down. This one's a little bit easier. Close it off. And then in here, come in. And then we just draw a little angle there to close it off and then once you have it just draw in another shape in here just kind of going all the way around this other shape so this one's a little bit easier and then we'll just draw in two lines across and okay now let's go back up here we need to put in some more detail on this one so for this one we got to draw on the blade just kind of curve around so that this part looks like it's sharper. Okay, so once you have this in the middle here, just draw another line. And then from the middle here, we're just gonna curve it out. Just gonna curve this out. Okay, so once you have this, now we're gonna angle this the same slant as this, so this one's gonna have the same slant as this, just slightly. We're just gonna connect this all the way back in. And then from here, we're just gonna connect this line to this point. Okay, so this point to point. So there's a lot of little tricky angles. And then to connect the, the ball to this, we're just drawing two lines. And then we can add in some of the, uh, the little, I guess, like sparks and stuff. And just add. Doesn't have to be exactly like this as long as you have some of these sharp angles. Kind of like light lightning. Okay, so let's move on. So that's the hardest part, obviously. And 
Let's move on to the shaft. So this one's easy. Um, we're just gonna pinch it in. We're gonna come down quite a quite a bit, and I'm not gonna draw it as long as it is. Because I'll run out of paper space. So yours can be a little bit longer. Okay, so then just close it off. And then we're gonna flare it out slightly and then close it off. And then come down, close that off. And then for the little sharp ends, just kind of come down, close that off, and then we just add in these little spikes on the end. So one spike, curve, pinch it in, and then there's gotta be one more here. So this one's gonna go over this line. And I guess my Sharpie sticker is just kind of go over and you can erase out that little line there. And then lastly, it's gonna have on this grip area, you can have some lines all the way across, all the way down. And that is it for this Oracle Axe. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.